Welcome back to another Learning Layer segment. And on this one, we continue our conversation with Joe Kerrigan as he's getting ready and prepped for his CSSP. So Joe, Mm -hmm. you're ready to start studying. Yes. (laughs) You told me last time that you were excited and you were anxious to get started. I'm curious, for a lot of people, this is such a daunting exam. There's so much stuff to learn. Yeah. So like, where do we start? What's step number one? Uh, Step number one is I'm going to have to take that test the <laughs> the diagnostic test yes. as it's called yes. in this uh it's it's like a pretest mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um so it, the diagnostic test is going to go through all eight domains and mm-hmm. essentially give me an idea of number 1 how well I'm, um, I'm I am already uh and how 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 uh what I, where I might need to focus now sure. to give you some context here the I took the 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 pretest for the CC certification and I scored ninety six percent on that. So, <laughs> okay. so hang on, hang on. Let's stop. Let's stop. Right. First of all, as as my parents who were very strict academically on me growing up would say, if you got a ninety six percent, why couldn't you get a hundred? What happened to those other two questions, Joe? <laughs> uh, well, one of them I disagree with the the being okay. marked wrong on. Right. Okay, so okay, so so you you got a ninety eight percent, right? Got um, my follow up question is well, well, I'm, I'm giving you points for the okay. for the one that was scored <laughs> oh, <I> correctly. <laughs> so to kind of go back to the to the original question, you're going your plan is to take the CISB diagnostic in the same way that actually you started with the diagnostic for the CC, correct? And yep. let me ask this question like this in a polite way. I don't think you're going to get a 96% on the CISB diagnostic. <laughs> I, I would be shocked if I'd be like, I would be shocked and elated if that was going to I, I am also with you. So what are you going to do with the with the result? Well, what, what are you expecting? And then what are you going to, how are you going to use the results? How, what am I expecting? I'm expecting to do better than random chance. So, sure. so, so if you pay A for everything... You get a twenty five percent, right? So if I get a twenty five percent, I'm going to be like, all right, I really <laughs> need to sit down. And I don't know anything about this, is what okay. I'm going to say. If I get a fifty percent, I'll be like, okay, I'm I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I'm I'm, you know, what is that? You're you're guessing you're guessing right twenty five percent of the time, right. and and then um, you know, if I got somewhere in the seventy five percent range, I would be ecstatic about that. Sure. That would I would be very comfortable with my knowledge if I scored seventy five on this pretest. Sure. And for those of you who don't remember my learning layer from a couple of segments ago, I actually talked about the, there's real learning science data mm-hmm. that shows doing the diagnostic as a, and a pretest helps ensure better learning outcomes. Okay. So it's for the obvious reasons, like you were explaining, Joe, you get to study efficiently. You know your strengths and your weaknesses and you spend more time, right, on your weak, your weak areas and you can study efficiently. But also they think there's like a psychological sort of piece around taking a diagnostic where you can actually get more excited around the content because you have a bit of a challenge, you have a place to start, and then you sort of have a way to measure yourself by and it feels like you're making progress. So that's a long way of saying I endorse your way to start. Uh, For those of you who are not familiar with N2K products, every single one of our certification courses and even role-based training courses start with a diagnostic assessment for just the reasons that we were talking about. So Joe's going to take a 100-question, uh, multiple-choice exam that's going to cover, as Joe said, all eight domains of, of CISB. Joe, what domain do you think is going to be your strongest and which domain will be your weakest? I'm going to say, right off the bat, strongest is probably going to be software development. Okay. That's domain where I think eight. I'm going to be because I've been a software engineer for most of my technical career. Got it. So I feel very comfortable with programming. Uh, the domain I'm, I'm not all that comfortable with is domain one, security and risk management, uh, mainly because my risk management stuff, uh, I, I get the idea of risk management. You measure likelihood and you measure, um, you measure impact. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's been 
uh, in my career, there's been some places where I've 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 just not been able to grasp some things. So I'm a little bit mm-hmm. a little bit concerned about that domain. Okay, well. Joe, I think we've had enough talk. You need to go take this thing, and then we'll go, when we meet again, uh, you will have taken the diagnostic, and we'll chat a little bit about the results and figure out where to go from there. All right. I'll get on it. Good luck. (laughs) See if you can beat 96. We'll see. (laughs) Probably not going to (laughs) happen. 